Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a comparison between the Eureka and the iRobot J5 Plus mop. So both of these vacuums are gonna vacuum your house. They're gonna come back to the base station and the base station is gonna suck everything out that they picked up, but they both have a mopping attachment. So the Roomba's got the mopping attachment and the Eureka's got this little um, pad you're gonna put on the back. Now both of them do a really good job of mapping your house. The Eureka's got like a LiDAR navigation on the top here. Now it's bagless, so when it, it when you want to empty this out, you just simply lift this up, take this over to the trash can, and empty that out. Where on the Roomba, you do have a bag that you can replace when that gets full. Also on the Roomba, when you want to mop, you're going to take this one off. This is the auto empty for um, when you just want to vacuum. This is the one for mopping. Now, if whenever I do the mopping, it's not going to self-empty. That feature goes away because the mop's covering it up. So you got to take this over to the trash can, take that door off, and then empty everything out. Here's where you're going to put all your water in solution. And then you just slide this on like the other dust bin. Let's auto-empty the J5. <laughs> So it's quite a bit louder when it auto empties. So here's the J5. It does have a camera on the front. You can have it take pictures of the obstacles that it comes in contact with. It does have the bumper over here on the Eureka. Now, no camera on the front. There are some sensors and it has the bumper. The Roomba does a better job of getting away from things that are low to the ground. So if you've got like a cable or if there's something on the ground that's kind of low, the J5 will do a good job of going around it, and it'll also take a picture of it. The Eureka, if it has to be kind of tall for this sensor that's sending out navigation to come in contact with it, and it will avoid it. If it's something low to the ground, it does have a hard time. It might run it over. Now, Eureka did reach out to me, and they did send this one to me for free. I did buy the iRobot J5 with my own money. Here's the dustbin on the Eureka. Once in a while, it has a filter also. Here's where everything goes when it's vacuuming, and then this gets emptied out by the base station. Now you're also gonna put the solution in this same uh, dust bin that does the vacuuming. Okay, let's take a look at the bottom. The J5's got two brush rollers. There's the auto empty drive wheels, one single side brush. Over here on the Eureka, one brush, drive wheels, two side brushes. Okay, so here's the iRobot, the map of my house. You can put no-go zones, no mop zones. It does a really good job. It even shows me where the carpet is and where like the hardwood floor and linoleum is. The Eureka also does a really good job of mapping my house. I can put no mop zones, no-go zones. Okay, let's tell the Eureka to start cleaning this room. Area cleaning started. It's gonna undock itself and start cleaning. We got a big mess in here to clean up. Okay, let's tell the iRobot J5. Let's have it start cleaning the same room and see how they do. It's gonna undock itself and it's gonna start vacuuming also. Okay, so the Eureka is doing a good job of vacuuming. Okay, so the J5 is doing a good job of vacuuming. It can also take a picture of an obstacle that it sees. Yeah, the Eureka's doing a good job. Both of them are doing a good job vacuuming. Okay, so the Roomba is done and it's gonna go back to the dock and self-empty. Okay. Okay, so the Eureka's finished up. Now it's backing up and it's gonna auto-empty too. 
Yeah, both of them did a really good job of vacuuming the floor and the carpet. Again, the Eureka was given to me. It is $400. They always seem to have a coupon on it. The um, iRobot, the J5. Now they have an i5. Here they have, this is the i5. I don't recommend it. it. It does map your house. It just doesn't do a very good job and it mainly relies on the bumper technology. It looks a lot like the J5. The J5, it does retail, it's on sale for $500 right now. I think that's a good price point. If you're needing obstacle avoidance, so let's say dog poop that's on the floor, the Eureka is probably going to run it over if it's not very tall. Whereas the Roomba, it's got that camera on the front. It can see things low to the ground. It will avoid them and take a picture of it and send it to you. Now, if you don't like that picture taking, you can turn that off in the app. Now, the app for the Eureka, I think, works a little bit better. You can see in real time where the, where the robot is on the app. The, you know, the app looks a little bit better. The robot, the Roomba apps just starting to, to me, seem a little bit older. It works. It's got a lot of functionality, but I just like having the map right there on the front page. Tell it what rooms to clean real quick. On the Roomba, you got to remember what the rooms are called, and it doesn't show live updates of where, where it is on the map. But at the end of the job, the Roomba is going to give you a report. And in there, you can review the images that it takes. And then it asks you if you want to do a no-go zone there. Like, say, if it runs into a bunch of stuff over here, it'll take a picture and say, do you want a no-go zone there? And all you got to do is click yes. And it adds a little red square on the map for you. That's a nice feature. I'll put links to both of these in the show description notes. I am an affiliate with Amazon. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore but I do get a small commission. It is a way of supporting my channel. Again, I got lots of other, I got all these tentacles. I got a big uh, comparison video on all them and how to clean them and work on them. J7, Kenmore, Shark. That's the Roborock Q7. Just finished up with the Shark Detect Pro. And this is the J7. This thing's on sale right now for 300 bucks. This is a steal. This is my pick. It's only a vacuum. It's got a self-emptying base right here, and it's an amazing vacuum. Again, be sure and check me out on Instagram and my Facebook group page. Look for my logo. If you could, hit a follow button over there. I really appreciate it. I also do free giveaways on the Instagram and Facebook group page. So again, thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks again. And Miss Fiona's just sitting out, enjoying this nice weather.